Okay guys, so I totally get it. By the time this video goes out, either it would have aged perfectly, Torchlight would change its ticker symbol to reflect onto the new company name called Meta Materials, and the stock price would have shot up by the double digits and we're all happy and we're making a lot of money. Or the stock price is going to go the other way. We're all gonna lose a lot. People are gonna laugh at us. We're gonna take our losses and move on. Hopefully it's the first, but we'll see. <laughs> but anyway, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Darren Jackson. Hopefully by the end of this video, you guys can fully understand on why everything is doing what it's doing. Hopefully the price is going up and maybe you guys can pick up on a little bit of nuggets I'll share with you guys along with this video, including what a short squeeze is and what shorting a stock even is. So let's not waste any time, let's get started. So when I first heard about this company, there was one thing that was keeping it really popular to a lot of retail investors. And no, it wasn't the company they were merging with with Meta Materials, which is a really awesome company, by the way. It was actually the opportunity in knowing that you would get a preferred stock dividend for every share that you invested into, into Torchlight. And now we're definitely a lot past that. Hopefully you guys were aware that if you invested into Torchlight by the 22nd, which by the way, I know in my last video, I kind of made that confusing, which I apologize, but it's the 22nd. As long as you invest into the company by then, you will qualify for this preferred stock dividend. We also know that based off a lot of people's analytics that the price could range between a dollar to $20 per share. And that is ultimately based upon how much they sell the assets for, which they have until the end of the year to do. But the bigger news and what's causing a lot of people to invest into this company, what's causing a lot of YouTubers just like myself to talk about with you guys is this potential for a short squeeze, which by the way should be hopefully happening right now. And even if it's not, maybe this video will give you a little more insight on why you may want to be a little patient as we become meta materials and invest into that. But of course, to understand what a short squeeze is, you got to understand what shorting a stock is. Now, I know in the last video, I'll go into a lot of detail on what shorting a stock is. I only did that to make sure that you guys understand because I can't assume that everybody watching these videos knows everything that's going on with this company, but I'll briefly explain it so I can get to the point. So shorting a stock is basically you betting against a company's progress. So the way to do that is by borrowing the shares of a company from your broker and immediately selling them and anticipating that the price will go down because you believe they're not going to do well. You then rebuy back in for the same amount of shares that you borrowed from your broker. And hopefully those shares are worth at a cheaper price. So then when you then return it back to your broker, you're retaining a profit. Keep in mind, your broker does not care how much money you borrow from them, they only care about how many shares you borrow from them. So you really want the price to go down. And that's how a lot of people, retail investors, and even hedge fund investors make a lot of money from shorting a stock. The amount of profit that they can make is based upon the share price that the company is when they borrow the money, multiplied by the amount of shares that they're shorting or borrowing from their broker themselves. But the amount of money they can lose it's practically infinite. So of course, when you're shorting a company, you want the price of it to go down, but a lot of things could cause the company to go the other direction against your favor, which means when you buy back in, you're buying in at more money than what you borrowed, which means you're gonna owe money to your broker and you're gonna take that out of your pocket. And that's where we're anticipating for companies like Torchlight. We've all seen it before. I know you guys remember what happened with AMC. They gained about 100% within one day after being one of the most shorted companies in the stock market. GameStop did the same thing, growing over 800% year to date, or at least at the beginning of this year. And even Tesla last year, I believe, broke the record for causing the biggest loss for hedge funds at over $40 billion after being heavily shorted in 2020. Now, if I'm correct, the short interest for Torchlight is at 28% as of today, which is Sunday. Now keep in mind guys, the short interest is basically taking the amount of stocks that are shorted or borrowed from hedge funds by their broker divided by the number of outstanding shares. And an amount like 28% definitely shows that this company has a category under pessimistic, which means the majority of investors are actually against the growth of this company and believe it's actually going to go down. And something like that is really scary for people that are actually shorting stocks because again, if it goes against their favor and the price goes up based on some new product that comes out, or just a lot of heavy interest into the company and whatever they have going on, then the price will go up and they'll be forced to end their contracts by buying back those stocks. And then buying back those stocks will cause the price to go up even more because when you buy in, you're favoring the growth of the company. And that rapid growth, that exponential growth is something that we call 
short squeeze. Now, I know I'm honestly getting pretty hyped about the potential that this company has, and I'll preface all this by saying I am a long-term believer in what Meta Materials has to offer. Hopefully, I'll have a video out this Thursday that I'll link right here, giving you guys more insight on why I'm holding for Meta Materials. But I'm gonna play a little devil's advocate here, so just bear with me. So if I'm correct, the power that the short squeeze by itself has isn't super significant. So again, the short interest percentage of Torchlight as of today, Sunday, is 28%. That means 28% of the outstanding shares that Torchlight has in the stock market are shorted. Now its market cap right now is at almost $800 million and 28% of that is about $150 million. Now, if you divide that by the amount of outstanding shares that they have within the stock market, then you're getting a total value of a little over a dollar, almost a dollar and 30 cents per share. And guys, definitely leave a comment below if I'm incorrect, but that's the math I got at this point. So that's basically saying that if every hedge fund or person that's putting a short on Torchlight is forced to close starting tomorrow or when this video comes out today, which by the way, a lot of you guys and a lot of news is saying that they're going to be forced to end their options or end their shorts because of the ticker symbol change by the 28th when the ticker symbol should change, if they're all forced to do that, then every share price should only go up by a dollar and 80 cents per share. Now I know what a lot of you guys might be thinking right now. Well, Darren, Torchlight announced a one and two reverse split. Shouldn't that hurt shorters and make the price go up even more? Well, not really. And that's because of a process that happens with people that are holding onto options or shorting called being made whole. That's the same process as with anyone holding the amount of shares for a company during a forward split or a reverse split. In this case, if you're holding a certain amount of shares during a one to two reverse stock split with Torchlight, for example, then the amount of shares that you have will be cut in half and the actual price of it will double. Now keep in mind guys, the forward and reverse stock split don't actually directly impact the market cap value. Now the attraction of the company after those splits can but the actual amount won't change. When you do a forward or reverse stock split, you're not adding money, you're not taking out, you're just manipulating the stock. So if you're holding onto 100 shares of Torchlight at $10 a share, then after this one to two reverse stock split, you'll have 50 shares at $20 a share. You do the math, it's the same price either way. So when it comes to shorting or doing a call option or a put option, if you are shorting 100 shares of Torchlight at $10 a share, then after this reverse split, you will be shorting 50 shares of Torchlight at $20 a share. It tries to make it fair either way. But the one thing we are looking forward to, again, is the news that potentially these companies or these hedge funds or people that are shorting the stock are going to be forced to close their contracts because of the change of the ticker symbol since they're gonna be optioning onto a brand new company. But we're just gonna have to wait and see. And obviously by the time this video comes out, we'll find out and hopefully everybody that's been saying that is correct. But I wanted to play devil's advocate with you guys, for one, just to be completely honest, and two, just to also remind you that a lot of other catalysts are gonna have to come into play besides the short squeeze. The short squeeze is a really big start, and obviously it is creating a lot of catalysts because I'm making a video about it, and a lot of other people with even bigger YouTube channels and bigger names are making videos about this. We're all spreading word to help people buy into it, obviously with honest news. But a lot of other things, point being, are gonna have to happen. One thing that you should be really excited about is the fact that on June 25th, Torchlight announced that they will be a part of the Russell 3000, which is basically an index fund tracking large, mid, and small stocks, mostly large cap stocks. And also per this merger, Meta Materials will be part of the NASDAQ, which is primarily made of technology stocks, which Meta Materials happens to be. And this is all really beneficial because being a part of an index fund gives you more exposure. Keep in mind, we're all ultimately investing into a company that by today should hopefully be Meta Materials. And Meta Materials prior to today was an over-the-counter stock that you can only invest into over-the-counter brokerages like Fidelity or into Canadian-based stocks or Canadian-based companies like Trading212. But now it will have more availability for people to actually research and invest into, meaning it has more opportunity for the market cap to go even higher, meaning the share price should increase even more. And knowing all that as an investor would make you more attractive to actually investing into the company itself right now. On top of that, back to the reverse split, that's another reason why a reverse split was happening because it would make Meta Materials more qualified on a price per share value to get into NASDAQ. Another catalyst, and probably what's gonna be the biggest temporary catalyst for this company, is going to be potential retail investors 
blowing this company up and investing into it. Now, remember when I made the examples about AMC and GameStop having their prices go up by these short squeezes? Well, they had a lot of help from a group of retail investors on Reddit called Wall Street Bets, where they essentially put their money together and bought shares of stock and multiple call options and essentially created what you could consider a retail hedge fund where they kind of stuck it to the man and went against the hedge funds that were shorting the stock. If something like that actually happened with Torchlight, which it easily could after it becomes meta material, then we could definitely see the price go up even more. And obviously the third catalyst, which could be considered the boring catalyst out of the other two, except for me because I'm really interested in meta materials, is the fact that Meta Materials is going to be the new company and a lot that they have to offer, which again, by the way, I'm hoping to make a video out by this Thursday because it seems like a lot of you guys are really interested on what Meta Materials will have to offer. Because again, like me, there may be a lot of you guys out there that are long-term investors of this company, even when it was back in the torchlight, even when the news of the preferred stock dividend was just coming out. So we'll just have to see what happens. But hopefully you guys, like I said before, this video ages well and the price is going up hopefully it's shooting up to whatever we consider the moon but if it doesn't then obviously you know i don't know every single thing and maybe we can have some more explanation on what happens but at the end of the day if you are a long-term investor like me then none of this should matter so hopefully you are but definitely leave your comments below and let me know what you guys think about this information what you think about this whole situation with torchlight and meta materials and how you feel about meta materials from this point on Speaking of videos though, make sure you guys watch some of these other videos which I hope help you guys on your investing journey as they have in mind. I appreciate you guys watching and until next time, take care.